Hi, boys and girls. We're going to be doing the trefec in a third way this time. We're going to be doing it with our plates. Now, if you're one of my students, you have the clear plastic plates that were part of your music kit. If you're not, you can just use regular paper plates, such as something like this. Or what I use in my classroom is I use Frisbees. Now, these are bright and colorful, so I'm going to use these today because you'll be able to see them a little bit better. <clears throat> So the trepec is in a AAB interlude A coda format. And so we're going to follow that same pattern that we've been working on while we learn how we are going to do this with our plates. These are the different symbols that you're going to be learning about. So when you see the first two, the two arrows that are kind of coming up in and out, you're going to take your, your plates and you're going to crash them coming up like this. So practice that with me. Up and out. Good job. The second one that you see is just simply clapping your plates together. Now that might be on the left side of our body or it might be on the right side of the body. So be careful and look to see which side of the body you're supposed to be doing that on. Then you'll also see what we're clapping where it's specific about having your right on top or your left on top. And when we do this part, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and we're gonna be alternating back and forth. When you see the two arrows side by side, what that's going to mean is a crisscross, like a, like, like a swiping of your, of your plates together. Bum, 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 bum. So that's the pattern going for. Whenever you see the next two symbols where it's two lines and two dots, those are repeat signs. That means that you're going to go through the entire phrase, and it might be two or three lines, and then you're going to go back and do the entire phrase again from the very beginning to the very end of that line. The last motion that you're going to need to learn about is that that long arrow means that we're going to be clapping our plates around the front of our bodies in some way, shape, or form. And it might be left to right, and it might be right to left. Depends on where we are in the music. So let's take a look at the A section on the next slide. <clears throat> you can see that repeat symbol right there at the beginning with two crashes, and then we have our clap. So it's going to look like this. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Then you're going to go to the left side, one, two, three, four, and go to the right side, one, two, three, four, and then you repeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we go, and we're going to repeat the A section again. And you'll see it's the same thing. I moved the nutcracker just so you can make sure that you're on the second time through. Crash, crash. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Crash. Crash. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to move on to the B section. <clears throat> this is where we're alternating. Now you look and you see that there's a white arrow that's pointing down. So we're going to start with the right on the top. One, two, alternate. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, and then we're going to alternate going back and forth, just one time each, all the way back up to the top. And then we start it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All the way back up to the top. That brings us to our interlude. Now, the interlude is those crashes where we're going to bump, bump. Remember? So we're going to do one on the first beat, and then we're going to do one again, and then we're going to do it one in third beat, one in third beat, and then we're going to alternate back and forth. So it's going to be like this. Now notice that my motions were big when I did the first two because we had a lot of space in between, and they got smaller until we got to the very little ones at the end. Now we go back to the A section again. So this should be very easy. A crash, a crash, left, right, crash, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just keep clapping, keep clapping uh, on one side, popping on the other side, and then when we get to the very end, we're going to—it's going to go really fast. We're just going to clap around to the beginning of our, to the middle of our bodies, and we're going to end with one last big crash. So let's try it with the music now. Are you ready? Are you ready, boys and girls? 
We're going to do this along with our plates to the tread pack from the nutcracker, but we're going to do it at about three quarters of the normal speed so that you can really get to understand the coordination of your plates. So here comes the music for tread pack. Ready? Good job, boys and girls.